This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Halo 3 ODST. And your mom. Tell her I said hi. Oh, hey. I didn't see you come in. I was just reading War and Peace, as I typically do in an evening such as this. But welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes some mystery out of the effects and techniques of going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. Now, today's going to be a little bit different. I'm reaching into my mail sack to pull out your questions. See you after the bumper. In the beginning, Adam bites the apple. In 1903, the first narrative film is made. In 93, Spielberg says, F you to evolution. And in 2009, Film Riot is released to the world. Want to be a filmmaker? Well, so do I. Let's figure it out. We're going to be following trying films from pre to post production as we make our latest short film tell. Along the way, we're going to be showing you how to accomplish great effects with little to no budget. And every now and again, we'll be jumping over to Full Sail University to get you advice from the pros. So grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This is Film Riot. Now, I've had a ton of questions through email, Facebook, and Twitter that just haven't made it onto the show because, well, they wouldn't fill out an episode or just weren't about filmmaking. So I thought it'd be nice today to take a break from the grind and get to some of those fantastical questions. Our first question comes from Julian Jackson. What's on your mind, Julian? Hey guys, just watched the latest episode and I was wondering how you achieve the Rhine's death by stabbing. Thanks. Great question, Julian, and one I intend to answer. This effect was insanely simple. All you need is an old shirt, a pair of scissors, a belt, and some duct tape. First, put the shirt on and mark where you want to be stabbed. Then, with the shirt removed, push the scissors through the spot on the shirt, then through the belt. Now take a pair of pliers and bend the blades in different directions. Now using the duct tape, stabilize it onto the belt and add some cushion for when it's up against your actor. Finally, put on the shirt, strap your belt on, and you've been shanked. But remember, always put safety first when shanking your friends. Question number two comes from the Shutter Squad via Twitter. So, you keep talking about tell. Is it based on the comic, what, slash, when? Question mark. Great question. Tell's an original short from Tryon Films. It's a thriller and will run about 30 minutes long. I've recently completed the script, which means Film Riot's gonna start following the production of Tell within the next month or so, which is also when we'll be jumping over to Full Sail to start interviewing their instructors. Mm. Now here's something completely random. A third question is from Chaz, who undoubtedly has his collar popped as we speak. Hey fellas, I'm trying to rock out a slow-mo shot for a music video I'm doing, but it's looking like garbage. Any tips on shooting slow-mo on HDV? If you plan on slowing your footage down in post, there's a few things you can do while shooting to make sure you get the best slow-mo possible. First of all, if you have control of your frame rates, jack that puppy up as high as you can get it. I put mine on 60, interlaced, frames per second. Then jack your shutter up as high as you can get. I put mine on 1 100th of a second. And lastly, I always lock my camera down for the best results. And now you're ready to slow slow down your footage to sexy town. You know the music, time to dance. An entirely new addition to the Halo universe, Halo 3 ODST, allows the player to experience Halo from a whole new POV, as an ODST on a recon mission. Halo 3 ODST delivers the ultimate Halo multiplayer experience with an entirely new co-op game mode, Firefight. It also includes a separate, standalone multiplayer disc which includes three new Halo 3 multiplayer maps and all original multiplayer maps for a total of 24. Halo 3 ODST is available now, so go to xbox.com forward slash Halo for more information. Oh, yeah! That's the way! And we're back. Our next question comes from Ori. I've been trying to figure out how to get that choppy look like you see in Saving Private Ryan or Gladiator. Can you help? The choppy look is created just by increasing your shutter speed. The higher the shutter, the less the motion blur, and the choppier your image will become. The downside to this is the higher you put your shutter, the more light you'll need, because the shutter is allowing your frame to expose for less time with each increment you increase. And now it's time for the last question. I know, I know, but the bottle's just about empty. Ryan, 
I'm gonna go ahead and ask the question all the ladies are wondering. Boxers or briefs? Neither. If you go to take a dump in a public restroom and there's no toilet paper, don't use your hand! That's disgusting! So it looks like we've found the end of this road. But if you have a question you'd like to see make it into my mail sack, you can email it to me at filmwrite at revision3.com, tweet it to me at twitter.com forward slash ryan underscore conley, or send me a message on our Film Riot Facebook. So until the next time, be kind to one another, stay clean, and I'll see you next Thursday. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what else? Uh. Is he doing a joke? Is he stealing chocolate? I don't know. Chocolate and vanilla explosion. There's a she wolf in the closet. Ooh. So until next time, be kind to one another. Tell your woman you love her. And I'll see you next Thursday, you classy sons of b****.